Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. As we have reached to the end of course 1, we have received a few requests along the way, and one of these requests was to how to set up a location map inside your project. So let's see how we can do that. First, we're going to create a simple widget and name this for example as location map. So inside this widget I'm just gonna drag a simple uh, image here let's set up a side base for uh, this widget that we're gonna create I'm just gonna change the color and put the alpha for example 0.5 then I'm gonna drag a button inside this widget and I have already imported uh, a few uh, images that we're gonna use so I'm gonna call the location So this will represent the location, uh, the, uh, the icon that we're going to press on. We're going to get the map that we're going to use. So I'm going to put this, for example, as, let's say, 30 by 30. And then uh, decrease the margin. So I think this is OK for now. OK. So assuming, for example, you have a free few of these uh, icons like we have done earlier in our uh, widget section. So we're going to call this the location map. And then we're going to need to create uh, a map and also put inside it the, the bones that we're going to use uh, to move to. So I'm going to put first an overlay to use it to combine all of these together. And then let's drag our image inside this one. So we're gonna use this image that we created earlier from Unreal Engine. So let's adjust first the overlay and then the image. Let's put the size for example. So let's assign the location. So assuming for example that this is your image that's going to be uh, visible to assign uh, where you want to put your pawn inside. Okay, so the next thing we're going to add is uh, the pawns. So again, we're going to use a button. Okay, so let's assign also an image for this that we have also downloaded earlier. So I'm going to call this symbol uh, reference of the location so I'm gonna put the size for this one let's say 40 by 40 and let's put the margin decrease it by 0.0101 so we need to assign for example the location of this here so because it's inside the overlay I'm gonna adjust uh, the location to these values so for the location location uh, of this one let's say it's gonna be let's put it Okay, so I've adjusted the location of this one based on these values for the first one and let's call this for example location 1. So we need to also add another one just for the sake of this example so we can see how can, how can we switch between each one of them. So for this one Okay, this location is fine. So uh, I'm gonna name this also location two and location one, and this is gonna be our location map, or the location texture. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna do is to assign the functions for each of, uh, of these uh, widget. The first one is gonna be uh, the location map. We're gonna call these uh, this image. So basically, we're gonna unclicked we need to set the visibility for this one I'm gonna choose the location map which is this one the location I'm gonna assign it to the target okay so once we click on the location map it should be visible and we if we want to click again and to hide it we're gonna use a flip 
flip up so we can hide it and unhide it with this one okay so this is for calling the, the location map next thing we're gonna do is to assign uh, the bones to these locations so we also need to duplicate our uh, bones that we are using so this is the one we, we are using on the default area here so I'm gonna just duplicate this one and name this for example number two and drag it around here which is the location that we have uh, determined and for the other location I'm gonna drag and put the other one here let's say I'm gonna rotate it so, to this direction okay so we have our bounds set up let's make sure that they are disabled so we can uh, call them uh, from the widget and for the other one also the same thing okay so inside our widget for this one once we press on the location one we need to possess uh, the the palm so we're gonna get all actor of class and we're gonna call the argus character number two and we're gonna get a copy and then possess the character and we need to get uh, the player controller so we can uh, control the pawn and that's it for uh, the, uh, the location one for location two we gonna do the same thing so on clicked just gonna duplicate this and make sure to change this to character three delete the copy of uh, number two so we can get uh, for the character 3 okay so let's see now how this is gonna go but before that uh, that's just first something uh, that is really important the size of this these widgets once the mouse uh, over uh, onto them so I'm gonna just uh, assign the same values, the same margin also. Okay, and maybe we can darken the color a little bit. Again, for the same thing here location map and now this is a basically an image so we don't need to change uh, the sizes for this button also let's go for the image assign it here and put the same sizes and the margin so we don't get the funny look uh, for the widget button okay for location 2 So now that we are done, we're gonna compile and let's see how this is gonna go. Okay, so the we need to connect our uh, activate this widget. So I'm gonna choose which widget I wanna display. Compile and let's do it again. So as you can see now, we have our uh, widget. When we let's maximize this view of this one. When we click on it, it's going to be displayed, but the pawns are uh, as they are. So we're going to do the same thing for them also, or drag the target for these guys too. Uh, we can also uh, minimize the opacity of this one, so it doesn't be really uh, visible inside uh, the scene. Okay, so inside the widget, we're going to drag the same target uh, with this one. So we have location one. And we have location two, and we're gonna connect it also. The other uh, visibility, so we're gonna connect 
them for uh, both visibility options so one more thing to do also uh, that we want to start this with hidden function so it's not really visible inside uh, the widget once uh, once it started same thing for this one hidden so let's compile and do another test okay so when we click on the location map it will appear let's try location one and then close it as you can see we have our uh, first location and for the other location of the other pawn and we can hide it again so this is very useful in case you wanna for example you have a big project and you wanna move inside your project let's say outside inside and you want to make it easy for the viewer uh, to move inside of moving along the way uh, and reach to that point one more thing if you want to for example uh, add um, the visibility to be disabled after you choose the location instead of going back to the location map you can easily add this by going to the, the blueprints here inside this one we're gonna put the same visibility so once we put this uh, layer uh, one or uh, location one we're gonna need to hide all of these again so we're just gonna connect this and the same thing goes for the other pawn so let's try again and see how this is gonna work so let's maximize this it's called the map so if we click on the first location we're gonna move to that and also the map have been hidden okay so i hope uh, this way of creating a location map uh, was useful i'm sure there is other ways to do that and instead of uh, our uh, or another way of doing this uh, different from what we from the way we have uh, done this so uh, in the next video we have another request that we're going to answer hope you guys enjoyed this and again if you have any question please share it down in the comments and see you in the next video uh, thank you very much